Hey everyone, welcome back to the Rips Hockey Channel. I'm your host Ross, and today we will be opening up to NHL 23-24 Series 2 Mega Boxes. Uh, so I got caught up with a few things over the past few days, uh, but now I am back, giving it another go to try and pull a Connor Bedard's Young Guns. Uh, I know it's a pretty long shot of pulling him here, but uh, let's see if we can get lucky today. Uh, so without further ado, let's go ahead and uh, rip right on into these. Okay guys, I got both boxes open here. We have our six packs per each box, uh, which uh, totals out to 12 normal packs, plus the two bonus packs here. I forgot to mention that these, this mega box or mega box variations um, are the ones that include the 94-95 rookie die class um, uh, cards in there instead of the rookie class. So it's going to be a little bit different with these ones. I don't know if uh, that will better odds of actually pulling a Connor Bedard's Young Guns. Uh, probably not here, but yeah, got all of our packs uh, opened up or um, available here. So let's go ahead and start off with the 94-95 uh, rookie um, uh, die class packs here, and we'll continue from that point. Okay, guys, first rookie die cut class uh, pack here. We start off with the normal variation of Adam Fantilli, or Fantilli, excuse me, Devon Levi, and uh, Logan Cooley. Not a bad one there. And now our second rookie die cut uh, pack here. We got Walker Dewar, Adam Fantilli again, and Brock Faber. Okay, first standard pack here of the first box. Starting with base with uh, Eli Tolvin, and we'll kind of just breeze through the base here to get to our three inserts. Do we start off with the young gun on this one? Which we do! Okay, Nicholas, uh, what is it, uh, Mantapolo out of the Ottawa Senators. Behind that, we got uh, Nikita Nostrenko, superstar Arnold card here. And we also got an instinctive of Darcy Kemper. And the rest should be base which it is going over our first young gun pool here with Nicolas uh, Montepalo here number 495 yeah not so great one to pull there uh, I think he's already 25 26 years old undrafted demon uh, not much in the way of amateur production doesn't seem like there's uh, much upside to him unfortunately but uh, again this is the only the first young gun pool uh, hoping for a little bit better. We should hopefully get three young guns total per each box and I'm sorry six total young guns between uh, both the boxes here, but let's continue on to our next pack and see if uh, we can uh, Get some uh, better pulls here Okay, second pack up here. We start off with Andre Kuzmenko Moving along through our base And it looks like we'll start off with a glossy uh, Opeachy card here of Adam Fantelli. We get a PCs of, uh, is it uh, Timmy Panarin? And then we, have, oh hey, we end up with the Young Guns UD Canvas card here with Cole McWard. Uh, Cole McWard out of what is it, the Canucks? Very cool. And then the rest should be base here, which it is. So yeah, nice little bonus here. Bonus uh, having the UD Canvas Young Guns pull here with Paul McWard. Uh, defenseman here with the Canucks. Uh, I believe he's already was 23, 24 years old. I'm not sure about his prospectus, but hey, that's pretty cool to be able to pull a Young Guns Canvas here. So we'll certainly take that. And uh, we'll move along to our next pack up here. Okay, third pack up here. Starting off with Pavel Buznevich. We'll go through the base here. Okay, we start off with the uh, peachy glossy card here of Kirill Kaprizov. Very cool. We get a PCs of Johnny Goodrow. And behind that, we get a Deep Roots of Andre Vasilevsky. And I believe the rest should be base, which it appears it is. Okay, next pack up, starting with TJ Oshie. Going through the base here until we reach our inserts. We do get another Opeachy Glossy card here, this one being of Stanislav 
Svol uh, Svolzil, hopefully I said that correctly. We get a director of boards with Sam Kirick. And behind that, oh, we get a, another, I thought that was for a second, a UD Canvas Young Guns, but it's just a standard UD Canvas card here, this one being of Mark andre Fleury. Still pretty nice one there. And then behind that should be, or through, through the rest should be base here, which it is. Okay, next pack up, starting with the base of Gabe Velarde. We got Riley Smith, moving along with the base. Olsen, we get a... An eclectic of uh, Artemi Panarin, I think from behind that is a Young Guns, which appears to be the case. And it appears to be Young Guns of Ilya Solovov out of the Calgary Flames. Behind that, we get a superstar on roll of Luke Hughes. And then behind that, Rush should be, I believe, base, which it is. So going back to our Young Guns pool here for this one, for Ilya, I won't try to pronounce that last name again because I probably butchered it pretty good. Number 493 here. Yeah, um, already 23 years of age. Um, uh, Demon, am amateur production uh, has been average, but uh, not much in the way of NHL production, I believe, at this point. Um, not much in the way of upside, so not a very good one to pull here, but... Uh, We'll move along here to our next pack, and uh, we'll, we'll continue here, and hopefully we'll get some uh, better pulls. Okay, final pack of the first box. Nick Schmaltz. We'll continue on until we get our inserts here. We do get a glossy OPG card of Will Coyle out of the uh, New York Rangers there. We get a PCs of Ilias Pedersen. And behind that, we get a Deep Roots of Thomas Chavat out of the uh, Ottawa Senators there. And then behind that should be base, which it is. Okay, next pack here, which should be the first pack of the second box. So I mixed up these packs a little bit here. So there might be four young guns out of the next six packs here. So apologies for that. But uh, continue on here, starting off with Ilya Samsonov. We got uh, Terry, continuing on with their the base card until we get our inserts and we get a monster season insert here with uh what is this uh Connor mcdavid i think this is like a insert of his and everything else so very cool we'll certainly take that behind that we get a UD portraits of luke hughes and then behind that we get an ecliptic of clayton keller and the rest should be base here which uh it is okay next pack up starting off with riley smith here schmaltz Let's see looks like we'll get a young guns pool here we get an ecliptic of alex ovechkin one to add to the pcs here pc here for the caps and behind that we get walker doer out of the calgary flames here Behind that, we get a superstar on roll card here of Sean Farrell. And then behind that, the rest should be base, which it is. So yeah, going back to our last Young Guns pool here with Walker Dewar. Already around, I think, 27 years old, undrafted right wing. Amateur production has been relatively average. Uh, hasn't shown much in the NHL and doesn't seem to have much in the way of upside. So again, another not-so-great Young Gun to add to the already two or three Young Guns that we pulled already. So unfortunately, another not-so-great one. But uh, let's go ahead and continue on here. Okay, next pack up. Starting with the base of Philip Kurashev, uh, Palat, Sutherland, continuing on. And our first insert pool here with this pack is a Opeachy glossy card here of Matty Beneers. We get another director of boards insert here with Tanner Juneau. And behind that here is a Deep Roots. This one, I believe, being of Clayton Keller. Very cool. And then the rest behind that should be base, which it is. Okay, three more packs to go here. Starting out with Troy Terry, Snevich, Harder, Backstrom, 
And we get a Opichi Glossy Gold variation here, this one being of Tyra Clevin. We get a PCs of Matthew Kachuk, and behind that we get a Deep Roots of, hey, Connor McDavid. That's pretty good there. Pretty uh, good player to pull there of that insert, so we'll take it. And then behind that should be base, which it is. Okay, second to last pack here. So yeah, hoping to get two more young guns here. Uh, hopefully here, I, I think we're going to be, uh, I think, below our quota here, but starting with the base of Hill Kirshiv. We got the Palat, uh, Samsonov, Bergeron, Colton. And we do get a Young Guns here of Ryan Shea, Pittsburgh Penguins. Behind that, we get Body McMahon, Superstar Honorable Card there. We get an Instinctive of uh, Phoenix Copley. And then behind that should be Base, which it is. So yeah, going back to our last Young Guns pull here with Ryan Shea, number 489, uh, RA 27 years of age, um, fourth round, former fourth round pick, uh, defenseman, amateur production has been okay, uh, yet to be seen on his uh, NHL production, doesn't seem the way of much of any upside, so again, another not so great Young Gun, uh, but we'll continue on to our last pack here, and uh, we'll hope to get some last pack uh, mojo. Okay guys, last pack mojo here. Let's see if there's anything else we can pull before ending off this video. Hughes. Oh, we do get in, uh, another young gun to finish this out with Maxine Gunet Gunetti. Unfortunately, it looks like we will not be pulling a Connor Bedard's young guns here, but we'll continue on with the remaining cards of this pack. We got UD portraits of Jacob Peltier. We got an ecliptic of Nathan McKinnon, or I'm sorry, not Nathan McKinnon, Miko Rantanen. And behind that should be, rest should be base, which uh, it is. So yes, Maxine Gonetti uh, was the last Young Guns we were able to pull here in our final pack. Um, was it number 455, RA22, turning 23 years of age, former 7th round pick. Uh, defenseman, uh, amateur production has been actually pretty decent. Um, NHL has been yet to be seen, not sure in the way it's prospectus. He is a little bit younger, so maybe a, a tiny bit more upside, but again, he's defenseman, so I'm not sure in the way of his value, really, uh, given that, um, given that he is a defenseman and everything, but, uh, yeah, we'll certainly take it. Unfortunately, we did not pull a, a, uh, Connor Bedard's young gun here in these two boxes, but, um, yeah, let's go ahead and gather up all of our inserts and Young Guns pulls, and uh, we'll summarize everything here before ending off the video. Okay, guys, here are all of our insert hits for between the two mega boxes here. We'll start off with the Opichi Glossy uh, cards here with Ann Vintelli. we got Kirill Kaprizov, uh, uh, Foolsville, uh, Coley, uh, Betty Beneers. we got a gold of Tyra Clevin. And we got a couple of superstar Arnold cards here with Nikita, uh, Luke Hughes, um, Sean Farrell, Bobby McCann. And then we got some PCs hits here with uh, Artemi Panarin, uh, Johnny Goudreau, Elias Peterson, uh, Matthew Kachuk. We got some deep roots inserts with And Andre Veselevsky, Thomas Shabbat, uh, Clayton Keller, and Connor McDavid. Probably one of our bigger ones there. We got some instinctive inserts here with uh, Darcy Kemper, with um, Phoenix Copley. Then behind that, we got some ecliptics. And I forgot to mention, some of these are, I believe, sparkles, sparkle variations, two of them. One of which is Artemi Panarin and Alice Ovechkin. Add the PC there. We got uh, Then we got some standard ones here with Clayton Keller and, uh, what is it, uh, Miko Rantanen. Behind that, we got some UD, portrait, or UD Portraits uh, inserts here with Luke Hughes and Jacob Peltier. Behind that, we got some uh, Director of Boards with Sam Carrick and uh, Tanner Janot. Behind that, we got a UD Canvas standard of Mark andre Fleury. And then behind that, we got a Monster Season insert here with Connor McDavid. And then our um, 94-95 die cut, rookie die cuts here. Between the two boxes, we got Brock Faber, Walker Dewar, uh, Logan Cooley, Devon Levy, and two of Adam Fentelli. 
And then our Young Guns pools, including our Young Guns Camus pool, we start off with Max, uh, uh, Maxine's uh, Quinetti, we got Ryan Shea, we got Walker Dewar, we got Ilya Solovyov, I believe is how you say that. Again, I butchered that many a times. Nicolas uh, Montipalo. And then behind that, we got a UD Canvas Young Guns of Cole Ward, or Mick Ward. So yeah, guys, in all honesty, these two boxes were pretty brutal. It was nice to get a Young Guns Canvas uh, here to pull. Uh, I know those are pretty hard to get. But uh, yeah, we did not hit any real big uh, Young Guns here. Even in any... Um, you know, mid-tier ones. A lot of the, uh, pretty much the majority were pretty much uh, not the greatest to pull there. So, and unfortunately, we did not end up pulling uh, Connor Bedard's Young Gun. Um, I am not sure if I'll be grabbing any more Series 2 of 23-24, given the price point and just the overall, uh, just the, the whiffs we've been getting uh, <laughs> opening products here. Um, but, uh, yeah, maybe I'll consider that. I do have some other, um, uh, what is it, boxes and other items to open here. Some hobby boxes that I, I like to maybe open up on the channel. So, I'll probably do some future videos on that. But, yeah, 2324 Series 2, uh, I might, uh, hold off on for a little while here. But, in any case, uh, that does it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed today's session. Please be sure to hit that like and subscribe button, leave me all your comments down below. Thank you as always for tuning in, and I'll catch you guys later in the next video. Take care everyone, bye for now.